do the social, try to like engage, yeah. make people engage more. Yep. And so I had this idea of um, what if we could recreate the social network of who knows who at DEF CON? I mean, obviously we wouldn't want to get, get out or anything. Yeah. So I, um, I wrote some software and uh, it initializes with a, a random number, so every card gets like an ID. And then I wanted the, the cards to talk to each other and be able to swap and do this web of trust type of idea where mm -hmm. they switch their things. But of course, there's only 2K of memory, that, so that was my first problem. And I um, decided that the best way to solve that is to do bloom filters instead, so it's probabilistic, and, but you know, okay. it, at least it fits. Uh, and then the second problem, I came to talk to Mr. Freescale because I uh, bought some USB cables and hooked two badges together because I'm not a hardware guy and realized it didn't work. Uh, and he suggested I like cut the traces and intercept, or and then I started. Well, there's the I2C from or do last it year. A hub or, or so, so I decided to do it through a hub. Yeah. Um, and I wrote a program that will like you plug in two cards and it will um, find them and hook them up. So let's see if I plug this one in. All right. Um, okay. So, so I have these two cards representing two people. One is uh, that one's the regular badge, and this one has a colored bloody human <laughs> sign. And um, so one of the first thing you can do is you can press one of the buttons on the back and ask um, the other card, have I, have I ever seen you before? And then it responds, in this case, because they haven't, it right. responds with an X at the right hand side. And because I have a program that's doing the, the trans shuttling back and forth between the thing, I can actually print out the text as it's going back and forth and add debugging information. So it's like a, a proto protocol analyzer a tracing right. thing, you know? So yeah. that's, that's super helpful for the de debugging what's going on between them. And then the same thing on this side. So I, I can press the button and ask, and it says, no, it hasn't. And then I press both buttons and it memorizes it, and I don't actually update the display, but now, uh, and, but here's all the debugging information, and the, these are the bloom filters. Okay. And then now, if I ask this one, have I ever met you before, it says yes, and you're one degree of separation away. Um, so let me do the same thing over here. Okay. Now, if the bloody human goes away, and then the, the pirate guy comes along, <laughs> And okay, and if he asks, have I seen you before? Oh, and it's kind of like IRC too. You can see which file descriptor is which. Right. So, um, so this guy says he's never seen him before. Um, and what do I want to do? So he wants to memorize that guy. <laughs> And that one we don't care about now. So now if I take this one, I think this is right, and bring the bloody human guy, they happen, the pirate and the bloody human meet. If the human, um, that's going now, says, have I ever seen you before? And the answer is no. And this guy says, have I ever seen you before? And the answer is uh, yes, uh, you're two degrees of separation away because of that guy. Um, and now, and then I can just say, memorize that one. And then, um, have I met you before? And now you're, because of the interaction, now it's one, two, and three degrees of separation away because of the way bloom filters work. Okay. Um, so there you go. That's it. Cool.